<laughs> we had impression number one, job ad. Impression number two, application and filtering process. We just talked about that. Now, let's say they made it through and we want to chat with them, right? Step number three is the interview process. This might be the most important impression we make. And we've talked about this and, and Andy, who's one of our business partners, like came up with a, an awesome way to just change the script on this. Um, this interview process to me um, reminded me of high school dating. This is back to the dating analogy. <laughs> Because, because like up until this point, like the job ad and the filtering process, it's like you kind of know each other exists, but but there's no um, awareness that one person likes the other person just yet. But once you're like, hey, uh, we like you and you like like me, we gonna do this thing. And, <laughs> and and it reminded me of dating in high school. And then I like I was writing this article. I was like, I it's just like I got all nervous and palms were getting sweaty. And I was like swallowing a lot. It was like gulp. Um, so anyway, uh, that interview process is such a critical impression opportunity. Hopefully we get a chance to make it face to face COVID kind of like threw this one on its head a little bit because phone interviewing went from being like a, a preliminary, uh, like somewhere between screening and filtering and actually interviewing to, to now like potentially being the interview. Cause that's just how we can talk to somebody given availability and the way the world works maybe we do an interview on zoom so we can at least do this face-to-face -face sort of thing um but ideally we get to do it in person to have that opportunity to make an impression um and it just feels like it's such a different ball game of how we get to the table and then if all we do is just ask the same uh, assessment style questions of are you good enough to be here instead of are we good enough to have you work here and are you going to love it here it's just such a massive opportunity to go the wrong way and and if they got through the first two of our filtering steps or our, of our impression steps they probably got through two impression steps with a whole bunch of other companies too so they're not just interviewing with us right this is an opportunity to really set ourselves apart the first two we can kind of set ourselves apart but we could have been lying the whole time, right? This is their chance to really interact with us. And our natural recourse is I'm the one with the job. You're the one that needs me. You better answer my questions and show me that you're better than everybody else I'm interviewing. And they know in the back of their minds, they're like, I'm interviewing more places than people are coming to interview here. I'm the one with the leverage, not you, right? Um, and it's just such a an obvious place for us to lose traction and lose that opportunity for an impression um i've got some some further thoughts on it but sean any uh any quick hitters on the interview process impression step um uh, uh, yeah i thought about what i was going to say and it and you kind of let led into it that's what reminded me of it nice when the filtering that's called, process. that's called good hosting right there that's it, it is it is sweet ass show host Johnny Carson would be proud. <laughs> um, so I, I'm, I, I, I have a brain that just goes in all kinds of different directions. Okay. <laughs> so when I was asked one time or another to mess around with Infusionsoft, <laughs> and all I wanted was an email drip campaign, 20 minutes into it, I'm, I'm going, you know, I'm trying to build a car with this thing. It's just, it could do everything and anything. And then I'm, I'm like, dude, you just need a, an email campaign. So, <laughs> so I thought, what, what is it that we need to screen? What are we trying to find out here? You know, there's, how do we solve problems? You got to know what the fucking problem is first. Right. And we've already kind of screened them. You know, we, we have so, this application process. To well, you, you've got all, you've got like the disc profile. Everybody's heard of the disc profile. It uncovers personalities and then you can manage those personalities and there's personality assessments and all these different indexes and things that you can do to find out things about human beings. I just want to find out one thing. I don't care about anything other than one thing because everything else falls into place. And that is to the best of my ability, based on our data, how long are you going to last with my company? That's all. That's all I care about. Because if you're going to be with me for two or three or four years, I bet my house that you've got a pretty good attitude. You probably show up to work. You're probably 
getting along with everybody just dandy. I'd assume that the customers like you or I wouldn't have fired you in the first six months. If you're going to last for two or three years, that's all I care about. That's the only thing I focus on and uncover is data-driven questions that are going to uncover whether or not you're only going to last 10 months, five months, or you're going to last a little bit longer. Everything else falls into place. So when you get to our interview table, the, the job's done of qualifying you. Now we need to impress you. There's there's one sentence that I'll say to sums up the the you know that Andy is really the grandfather of it is is um it's the biggest sale of your life. That's it. That's what the interview is. It's the biggest sale of your life, and that's it. If if you don't know that or you don't have that mindset, I think you're gonna um I think it's it's not gonna be the best hiring for you.